Hey, yo. Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here with I Do The Most, and I'm back with the Pokemon Sword and Shield Battle Styles Booster Box opening. This will actually be our video number three on our sets. So behind this, we will have three more booster boxes in the future. If you're excited for this series and you want to send some luck our way, I ask that you send a like. I truly believe that likes send luck. Hopefully today we pull that Tyranitar VMAX. I was trying to find the easiest way to open this. I think I found its weakness. Speaking of Tyranitar. Got a good feeling about today. If nothing else, I'll take the uh, Urshifu Rapid Style VMAX. That card is up there in price as well. But my boy Tyranitar, T-Tar, that's my, that's my dude. Let's jump right into this. No more talking about it. Let's get to it. I left like all this white filmy shit on my hands. So if I die, you are witness that somebody poisoned me. The man who sold me these cards. Online TCG code. Let me just adjust my setup for a second. Okay. One, two, three, four. Water Energy, Pig Knight, Scroll of Swirls, Bufalant, Glam Meow, Galarian Slowpoke, Yamper, Murkrow, Salandit, got a Fey Lynx Reverse, and Victory Bell. It's our first pack. Energy, Earn of Vitality, Girder, Seedra, Frillish, Hound Hour, Scatterbug, Hone Edge, Gligar, Stone Journer, Reverse, and Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Interesting thing about that card, I didn't know Mr. Mime got an evolution. I don't know when that happened, but that's a thing. I'm guessing Sword and Shield is probably when it debuted. I haven't got around to playing Sword and Shield yet, but that's on my to-do list. Got a Dooblade, Bronzor, Ro Roly Coley, Chimeco, Onyx, Sizzlipede, Zubat Reverse, and Licky Licky. Nothing too standout-ish yet. I feel like the right side has been the side that I've been pulling the heat. But I wanted to mix it up and start with the left. Got packs everywhere. Trying to get my little my little garbage box <laughs> that I throw all the extra packs in. Pawniard, Timber, Tepig, Glam Meow, Silly Cobra, Scatterbug Reverse, and Kakelda. Pack number five. All right, it's time to at least pull a hollow. This is getting ridiculous. Fighting energy, vitality, girder, Cedra, scatterbug, no peeking, Gligar, Electabuzz, Bell Sprout. BB Reverse, and we got a Corviknight B. Okay, so we did get our first hollow. Did I call it or did I call it? Make sure that that boy gets sleeved up. I'll do that afterwards. Next pack. Number six. We got Fire Energy, Broxish, Carnivine, Sword Word and Shilbert. Onyx, Spiro, Sizzlipede, Shinx, Cacnea, Reverse Electabuzz, and a Vavillion, or Vivillon. I've been calling that Pokemon Vavillion for years. and <laughs> It wasn't until a video that me and Tiffany was recording, and I said his name was Vavillion, and she was like, where'd you get Vavillion from? The 
I looked at it and I was like, oh. And my brain exploded. Psychic energy. Bis Sharp, Gold Bat, Energy Recycler, Tepic, Glam Meow, Silly Cobra, Frillish, Hound Hour, Reverse Tapu Bulu, and we got a holographic Santa Conda. It's the first one of those that we pulled. I'll take it. I will take the holographic Santa Conda. My Santa Conda don't. My Santa Conda don't. My Santa Conda don't want none unless you got Tyranitar. <laughs> Alright. Steel Energy. Weeping Bell. Phoebe. Hans Crow. Cherubi, Mianfu, Silly Cobra, Galarian Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Sword Word and Shilbert, and then Boltund is our rare card. I feel like it might be the right side has all the the bangers. Guess we'll find out once we get to it. Timber, Remoraid Reverse, and Aegislash. Good ass Pokemon Aegislash. You know, it'd be dope if they incorporated the TCG into. The actual games. Like, you remember how back in the day, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if you put the code in at the bottom, you can actually add those cards into the Yu-Gi-Oh games that you had. Imagine if they did something like that for Pokemon. Like, the way that you receive, receive like, the mystery gifts or something. If you put the Pokemon card name in there, you can uh, receive that Pokemon. <laughs> There'd have to be some kind of limit to it, though. Because one, pe uh, the internet's a thing and people can just look it up. And two, it will kind of take the fun away from the game. Early game, if you can just get any Pokemon that you wanted. So if they found a way to like balance it and limit it, I think that that would be a dope game mechanic. Got a Water Energy, Per Ugly, Tool Jammer, Golbat, Cacnea, Spoink, Roly Coly, Frillish, Esper, Esper Reverse, and BANG! We got a Rapid Strike, or Shifu V. Nice. So that card has been popping up quite a few times, and it is a couple dollars. I think it was sitting around like 20 to 30 um, maybe, maybe it was like 15 to 25, something like that. There's so many Urshifus, Vs and Vmaxes, and they are, are at least worth a couple dollars. But then there's the Chase one that's worth over a hundred. I'm not sure as of this week where it's sitting at. It could still be about 130, I think it was last time, or it could have jumped up to 300. That's just kind of the way that these card games go. Got Yamper Reverse and Electivire. So if you are considering, you know, investing into the card market, it's always good to stay up to date on the cards and card price, especially when you're you're purchasing. Uh, yeah, especially when you're purchasing ahead of time, it's good to look up the sets because you could buy a set and it may have like no cards in it that are really worth buying. It definitely helps if you play the game as well because the cards that you know that you're not selling, you can still have them for your own collection. Lick a tongue reverse and bang, we got a Necrozma V. I pulled him quite a few times in here as well. I mean, I imagine it's not the rarest of rare cards, but it's still nice to see him. I learned that lesson a while ago, though, when I first started collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! for sale.
I'd buy the booster boxes that were really cheap and not research them. And they might have one card in it that was worth a lot. But for the most part, they were all very inexpensive cards, which is why the set was so cheap. But then some packs have some sleeper cards in it, like random commons that are worth, you know, 5 to $10 a piece. And it's like if you buy a booster box of it and it's a pretty common pull in that set. You know, you can easily make your money back and a profit. Use the rest of the cards for bulk or to bulk up your collection or to actually add to your decks and stuff like that. It's a lot of different things that you can take into consideration when it comes to that. Got a Pig Knight Reverse and bang! We got a Victini V. You know I love my Victinis. I might start a Victini collection. Um, One of the mystery boxes that I received from a guy I bought from online had maybe a dozen bikinis inside of it we opened that up but we didn't open that one up on camera that was just kind of we wanted to see what it was that was all we did open up the other mystery box on the channel so if you if you are into mystery box openings i definitely encourage you to go back and check that out i might get another one in the near future but I got to sort through all the cards that we have now. We actually got some boxes to put our commons in and our regular rares and stuff like that. So that way we can start sleeving up and researching the higher value cards so we can start getting them posted. And look for potential buyers. Woo, that pack was kind of difficult. I want to look into getting our own domain, like our own website page. It'll make it a lot easier to, to post what we need to. We've got that Ente holographic right there. And, you know, it'll make it a lot easier to be able to reach out and talk to people and stuff like that. Like eBay is a, a great platform to sell on. Put the fees and stuff. You know, there's a lot of money that can be lost there. Especially it goes by percentage. It's not by like per sale. And as far as last time I used eBay to sell on, um, they wouldn't charge you until the end of that cycle. And, you know, depending on how, how it went and stuff like that. And, and a lot of the money I was using to take care of everyday needs and stuff like that. I wasn't turning too much of a profit so sometimes you know by the time the cycle was over and there wasn't no warning ahead of time they'd be like oh well you owe this and until it's paid up you know your account is frozen and you know that's that just that holds you back let's go on to the right side now i'm gonna go ahead and move this this stack off to the side there we go make a little room And first pack of the second half. Amazon also has a platform that you can sell on. I haven't tried Amazon yet, but I believe the way that that works is you send the products that you want to sell and Amazon sells it for you and then they'll take their fees out of it. That's good for someone who doesn't have the time to individually price it out, but I can imagine... That you'll be taking, or you won't make it, you won't be able to maximize your profits that way. The best way to sell is to find either local sellers or, you know, get on like Facebook Marketplace or any of these apps like Let Go that'll, let, that'll allow you to post what you want to sell at your price and determine how you want to handle shipping and receiving and stuff like that, whether it's going to be local pickup through USPS, through FedEx, or whatever the case may be. That is the best way to kind of optimize your profit. But it also requires the most, like, footwork. 
eBay and Amazon have their own platform, so you already kind of got a leg up on that. Got a Houndoom holographic. But once you get, especially on the Facebook groups, once you get um, a certain amount of acknowledgement for being a, a good seller and stuff like that, you know, the community will start to know you and they'll pass on your name to people that are looking for certain things. And even people that you purchase from, if they seen cards that uh, may be highly sought after, they'll keep you in mind and also pass it on to other people. And, you know, you just got to get out there if that's what you want to be into. Alright, these Pokemon packs have been quiet so far. I think it's time to liven up just a little bit. Got a Water Energy, Escape Rope, Grumpig, Luxio, Horsey, Cheruby, Lickit Tongue, Electabuzz, Esper, Bell Sprout, Bell Sprout Reverse, and a Bang! We got an Empoleon V. Okay, so we did liven up just a little bit. That's actually the first Empoleon I got from this set. And that will complete my Empoleon evolutions. Let me discard these packs real quick into my trash box. All right. Online code one, two, three, four. Dark energy. Hold up. Do blade. Cheryl. Rapid strike energy for Mantis and Spiro. Apparently, that's what we're doing. Zubat. Cubone. Frillish. Shinx reverse. And a stone journer. This might have been the most common uh, holographic card that I've pulled from this set. I probably pulled about 10 of them so far. Even though that wasn't, wasn't a holographic, but I mean, just speaking about it. Grass Energy, Phoebe, Heatmore, Hero, Flagger, Electabuzz, Bell Sprout, Bronzor, Murkrow, Sent to Scorch, Reverse, and BANG! We got a Corviknight V Max. Okay, so this is definitely the favored card so far. So we got the V and the V Max. I'm gonna make sure to sit him off to the side, get him nice and sleeved up immediately when I'm done. Alright, on to the next one. I gotta get me a Tyranitar. I gots to have me a Tyranitar. Electric Energy, Bruno, Mars, Rapid Strike Style Mustard, Morpeko, Tepeg, Pachirisu, Mienfu, Ball Toy, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Aegis Slash Reverse, and we got an Octillery Holographic. I always loved Octillery's move, Octazooka. It was very unique. I don't remember what it does. I just remember pretty much blowing through gold and silver with Octillery's Octazook. I just loved it that much. It wasn't the most accurate move. I do remember that much. And I don't think it was as strong as Hydro Pump. But it was a little more accurate. And I believe it like either dropped their accuracy or it did something extra. Silly Cobra, Frillish, Houndour, Scatterbug, Hanedge, Houndour Reverse, and Vivil Vivalon. Alright, looks like we're in the home stretch. We got the last quarter of the box, I believe. Fire Energy, Urn of Vitality, Spupa, Gliscor, Houndour. Shinx, Gligar, Splink, Bronzor, 
single strike energy reverse and a Galarian Slowbro. We got three, six, we got nine packs left to go. TCG code, online TCG code, Psychic Energy, Gliscor, Mustard, Morpeko, Cacnea, Pontiard, Timber, Tepig, <laughs> Glam Meow, Conqueldor Reverse, and Jellicent. Alright, on to the next pack. I realized this pack is semi so that was completely fucking opened. That's weird. That's suspicious. Oh. I believe these cards are actually worth even more. Because it was like a factory. It's almost like a factory defect. The way that they accidentally stapled the card. That's pretty dope. That's the first time I've actually found a card that was like that. That's why the pack didn't seal the whole ways. See, now, I was skeptical because I was like, maybe they already opened. I'm going to put that off to the side because misprints and stuff like that tend to go for quite a bit of money. People are really interested in those. It's a very niche crowd and a niche thing. Like, collecting cards is already, like, a niche thing. But to find someone who's interested in the actual, uh, you know, cards that are made with mistakes. It's even harder. Cubone, we got Cacnea Reverse, and bang! We got a single Strauss, Stringle, single, uh, let me get it right. Single Strike Style Mustard. Say that five times fast. Five times fast. <laughs> single strike style mustard single strike style <laughs> I'm not going to do it <laughs> oh snap imagine if that card was the one that got pinched that would have shot the value through the roof let's see nope we don't uh, it don't look like this next one is like that I did have a couple misprints and error cards in the past, and I posted them on eBay for the uh, auctions. Uh, I sold one, which I believe was Book of Secret Arts, because the original Book of Secret Art, um, in the beginning, they were printed without the quill in the book. And down the line, they actually added the quill. It technically wasn't a misprint. It was just, that was actually the original print. But, you know, again, you find people that are interested in these little bit of, these cards that have a standout quality about them or are harder to find. All right, so we got a couple packs left. Still haven't seen my Tyranitar. I feel like there, there got to be at least one more good card. And have one more Tyranitar right there. We got a Stilix Holographic. That's a beautiful card. Alright, four to the front. Grass Energy, Scroll of Scorn, Bruxish Fish, Buffalant, Pachirisu, Cherubi, Mienfu, Silly Cobra, Galarian Mr. Mime, Tower of Waters Reverse, and Licky Licky. Mm. This might have been my least favorite box to date. Why are you treating me, babe? I, th I think that they're just holding off. They're, they're holding off and they're going to give me that heat on the last pack. We're going to have that last pack magic. I'm calling it now. 
Mawile, Jeruby, Salandit Reverse, and Salazzle. That's our rare. That's actually the first Salazzle I've pulled out of here. Is that a short print card or something? Oh. That might possibly possibly be a short print. I don't recall pulling any other Salazzles. In the in this set anyway. Uh, Fighting Energy, Carnivine, Hero, Grumpig, Mankey, Mawile, Fomantis, Remoraid, Spiro, Seedra Reverse, and Kakelder. Two packs left to go. There's a strange line going through this pack. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's, it's right here. You ever just wonder about the history of the cards that you get? Like, what has this particular card been through? Fire Energy, Paragly, Tool Jammer, Golbat, Spoink, Galarian Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yamper, Licket Tongue, Stone Journer Reverse, and a Stone Journer Rare. Last pack, I called it, right? Last pack magic. If you made it to this point in the video, dog, you are the GOAT, and I want to say thank you. So we about to pull this epic card inside of here together. Send me your energy. We're going to send it through the pack. It's going to be something incredible. I'm calling it. Woo! Online code. All right. Psychic Energy, Glyscore, NDD, FeeBB, Blick Bug, Silly Cobra, we got Hound Hour. Why is he pulling the rock though? The questions that need to be asked. Lick it Tongue, we got a Horsey, Car Coal Reverse Hollow, here's the moment of truth. Drum roll. Oh, we got the Victory Bell. Why is Victory Bell always the last card in the pack? This is like the this this is probably the second time that that's happened. It, it might have been the third, but I don't want to oversell it. All right, so let's go over the holographics and above that we gotten. Gotta get well sleeved up. Well as our Shifu, I think our Shifu, all of his forms are sitting at a pretty decent price. So I'm 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 not mad about that though. I didn't get the card that I wanted, but we did get some pretty cool cards in the process. Um if you're new to the channel, what we do here is Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG pack openings primarily, but we have branched out to a couple other card games as well. Also, at the moment I have a uh, Poke Duel Nuzlocke playthrough on the channel. Poke Duel is basically a Pokemon game, but instead of Pokemon, they use Yu Gi Oh! Duel Monsters. And that's pretty dope. I've been enjoying that as well. So, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Also, uh, I ask that you leave a like. It helps the channel to grow. We have been growing. A, a pretty decent amount lately and and you know i appreciate that so does tiffany and so does bear and we hope to continue to grow in the future and with that being said i'm gonna head out you have yourself a good day peace